Well, hello. We're at site 482 in beautiful Chiefland, Florida. Here's our site. This is the same site we're going to have for the winter of 21 22. It's a 20 by 60 foot pad. As you can see, it supports our RV and our tow vehicle very nicely. We have a nice little patch of ground next to it. There's, I didn't measure it, but I think it's, uh, let me see here. How many feet is it from pad to pad? There's the RV. Okay, let's see. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. It's about 20 feet. It's about 20 feet between, between sites. From the edge of the pad to the edge of the pad. Now, like I said, we're in chief land and Oh, look who's... Oh, got to show you the happy camper. Beautiful here. We were, we were so happy to come. And then we realized we're only here from December 1st to April 1st. What did we do this morning? Uh, we're going to come in a month sooner. We extended a month sooner. We're going to go November 1st to April 1st. You should see the list of things that they have to do here. Yep. There's so much to do. There is. Plus your normal stuff. Of course, they canceled my poker Monday at 4 o'clock. I'm not I'll, happy. I'll play poker with you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, baby. <laughs> so, we're like in the heart of the park where our, where our street is. We're on a dead-end street. Now, you're looking at a development, a, the, the part of the park that's only been in service four months, okay? Now you're probably looking out across the way going, where is everybody? Well, remember, this is a seasonal spot and on April 1st, most people start heading home, okay? But as far as the grass and everything, when we come back in November, we're probably not even gonna recognize this. They do have some sites that have the, um, oh, I can't think of what they call that, where uh, kind of like destination trailers uh, already on the site. Now here's a site there, if you can see that in the, in the foreground there, uh, has a shed and a gazebo on it. Those are seasonal. You, you, you can buy one of these sites and stay here all year for under $5,000. And you can fix it up any way that you want. But when you, if you don't come back or don't renew, you have to you have to clean your lot off. Anyway, let's get back over here. Uh, I am standing on the edge of a great big retaining pond. All the all the all the sites uh, you can't tell are sloping towards the street, and they have great drainage in those streets, and the streets drain into these retaining ponds. Now, anybody that's lived or been in Florida before knows that when it rains, it pours. And these, this retaining pond is supposed to retain all the water. Surprise! This is one of six retaining ponds they have just on the site. Again, all the sites are sloped towards the street and uh, have these big drains in the middle of the street. I'll have to show you one up over here. Uh, utilities they have cable on the cable channel they tell you all the games and upcoming activities the electric will be metered here's the box look how big this box is it's probably overkill but boy it's it's humongous and then there's water 
and sewer. The water has backflow preventers on them to uh, do what the, exactly that. They come and mowed the grass today. Uh, I may bring a weed eater with me because everybody seems to take per a little bit personal touch to their sites and uh, keep the grass trimmed off the edges. I should, uh, I probably should uh, finish this recording when it gets dark. So there's uh, seven sites there, four on the left and three on the right. And then as I pan around, you can see all the way down the street. Really looks neat too. If you noticed, everybody has a lamppost. Everybody got a lamppost. And a, and a lot number. So I showed you one retaining pond. Well, look at this. Here's another one just on the opposite side. So it must rain a lot here to have this many retaining ponds. But it's so nice to see that we're not gonna get flooded out if it does rain hard. See that? There's two. We know there's one behind the bathroom laundry area. That's three. We know there's another one over on that side of the property. That's four. And we know there's two more on that side of the property. No, uh, three more on that side of the property. We, I think we've counted seven ponds or retaining. That could have been a lot of RV sites, but no. Safety and comfort and city ordinance <laughs> probably, uh, probably made those regulations. This is really nice. We are happy. We're alone, but we're happy. <laughs> So, does that give you a good overview of, of the sites? As you know, we used to be host of Prince Galitzin, and, and the road is wider than the road in Prince, Prince Galitzin. It looks like it's about 20 feet wide. Let's see here, three, six, 50. No, about 21, about 21 feet across, so. Anyway, just want to give you a brief overview. Like I said, the, uh, uh, they have lots of activities here. The end of the street here, that's the maintenance building. Uh, let's see, they have bocce ball, pickleball, uh, street golf. In fact, well, you can't see it in the camera. Street golf is done on that court over there. It's a nine hole. Uh, note to self, bring putter and a golf ball so we can play that uh, in November when we get back. Uh, swimming pool, heated, open all year long. Um, the clubhouse has all kinds of activities uh, from uh, Margarita Mondays to uh, uh, lunches during the week. Today we had a, a cheesesteak sandwich, uh, a coleslaw and a potato chip for $5 each and then uh, somebody made some special cupcakes champagne and chocolate filled chocolate pudding filled and uh, they were one dollar a piece so we bought a little a cupcake too delicious did a great job uh, people are oh people here are so friendly uh, they're, they're really going in here get to see my happy face uh, people here are really friendly um, looking forward, looking forward to coming back. We really are. So anyway, uh, just wanted to show it to you. We, uh, we did a, a live, um, entrance to the park when we got here on Facebook, but, uh, I thought I would pop something up on the YouTube channel. So, uh, I don't know how many spaces they have left guys. But uh, I think it's coming out to, um, uh, what was it? Oh, I just had to figure it out. Six, 650 a month plus electric is what it's, what it's coming down to. And we'll be here for five months. So you put a deposit down to secure your site. You pay half, half up front when you get here. And then I'm not sure when they want the other half. Probably at the first of the year or something. I don't know. 
but we are really really looking forward to uh hanging out here this next winter arizona you've been great we love quartzite we'll never forget you uh texas eh. florida we're, we're gonna give you a chance next year all right we'll talk to you later have a great day